Welcome to A-List. My name is Janelle Mascarinas, and I'm your music host. For today's episode, we head over to Heartland Cafe in Rogers Park, where we meet a very special Asian American artist. Folk singer-songwriter Don Chiana Moon exposes the truth and deep emotions in her music. The Chinese-American artist aspires to redefine the sounds from her cultural heritage with the music she has now. I've recently gotten interested in traditional Chinese music and I'm trying to figure out how it works and integrate more and more of that into what I'm already doing with the kind of folk and pop and you know, tiny bits of jazz in there. So I'm really wanting to bring more and more of my cultural background into what I'm doing musically. A few musicians that I'm working with who okay. are, um, they have backgrounds in traditional Chinese music, they play guzhen and erhu, and are gonna be recording with me eventually. And they're also giving me some ideas in terms of how to integrate things by, um, it's a dirty little secret, I don't actually speak Chinese. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I grew up around white people, so um, my parents also spoke English at home as okay. opposed to speaking a Chinese dialect. So I grew up with speaking English and I don't really have any background in Mandarin or any other, the other dialects. So these guys have been really helpful in terms of translating for me, for example. Growing up as a minority in Michigan, she experienced an identity crisis as a child along with establishing herself with the folk circuit. And I grew up in the suburbs of Detroit. Okay. And I think growing up I practically thought of myself as white and then I would get a little um, self-conscious about my parents, they have accents. Um, I moved from Singapore when I was five and my parents, my mom especially, has a stronger accent than my dad does. So obviously, you know, we were Chinese, there's something different, but most of my friends were white. And I think more or less I thought of myself as one of them. It's been really rare to find other Asian Americans who are in uh, kind of folk music. You find Asian Americans in hip hop, you find them in classical music, but you don't find a lot of them doing um, the singer-songwriter thing, playing an acoustic guitar. There's a couple who play piano, if you know Vienna Tang. Um, there are a couple of other Asian American singer-songwriters who are piano-based, but not a lot of guitar people. Um, so that's just been interesting in terms of trying to build community with some of these other people who are like, oh yeah, wow, there are other Asian Americans who are singer-songwriters, and it's really exciting. Interestingly enough, Dawn relates her passion for music with swing dancing. Swing dancing is very much about personal style and improvisation, and music, um, in terms of the kind of music that I'm doing, is also a lot about developing your own personal style and a lot about improvisation, and the two kind of feed into each other and make me a better musician and then a better dancer. Music is a business that potential artists need to understand. It's not very useful for people to tell you to follow your dreams and to not give up no matter what. Everyone gives you that advice and doesn't actually give you a practical application of what to do. Um, what's more useful is actually starting to figure out how to do uh, marketing, how to promote yourself, how to do your own booking. And these are the things that nobody just teaches you how to do, you know, if you're in a music school or most schools unless you're a business major. They don't tell you any of these things and that's really what you end up learning as an independent artist. You're starting your own small business and you have to figure out how to do all of those things. So if you can come into it with the knowledge already, you're in a much better place. You found a song. 